gosh, today I will explain the complete GFP iceberg. For those of you that are not familiar with what an iceberg video is, I will basically be discussing a bunch of things, fun facts, and dark secrets related to GFP from SML, beginning with the things that any normal fan will know, and we will finish by going into the deepest and least known facts and secrets. I know I'm not the first person that makes SML iceberg videos, but as far as I know, this is the first iceberg video focused solely around Jeffy. If this video performs well, I might even make more iceberg videos based around other characters or even one entailing SML as a whole. But for the time being, please enjoy this video. I'm sure you will definitely discover new things you didn't know about Jeffy prior to watching it. Only true Jeffy fans will watch it until the end. Let's begin! Wait, but before I start explaining the iceberg, let me tell you about the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN is a virtual private network service which allows you to have unrestricted access to all parts of the internet and it can help you to protect your data against hackers and anyone trying to collect it by creating a secure tunnel between your device and the internet. For example, even if you come from New York, you can make the hackers and any prying eyes believe that you are in Japan. This is also wonderful if you want to access your restricted content such as a movie you want to watch but that is not available in the US Netflix catalog. You can easily change your location with the click of a button and now you can watch it. They also have 24-7 customer support, an extremely safe data encryption tunnel and over 3,000 servers in 94 countries to choose from. What are you waiting for? Just click the link in the video description to get everything ExpressVPN has to offer and the best part is that you will get your first 3 months free if you use my link. By doing that, you will also be supporting this channel and helping me to keep doing what I love, which is making videos for you guys. Now let's go back to the video. Layer 1. Surface Level. Let's begin the iceberg explanation on the surface level. These are facts and things most SML fans know. Jeffy was supposed to be a one-time SML character. That's right. When Jeffy was first introduced to SML, he was only supposed to appear once as a character meant to annoy Mario in a single video in which he had to take care of him as a babysitter. However, that video became so popular and the character became so liked that Logan decided to use it again and the rest is history. Mario the Babysitter. That's actually the title of the very first video in which Jeffy appeared. This video was uploaded during 2016 to the now deleted original Super Mario Logan channel. Evelinka. Evelinka Puppets is the name of the company that originally made the Jeffy puppet. During Logan's 21st birthday, his mom ordered a puppet version of him, and Evelinka Puppets made it. Logan liked the result so much that he decided to hire the company to make a character he envisioned in high school of a kid wearing a helmet. This woman is the one that designed and made the very first Jeffy puppet. Lance 30 Acre. That's the name of the voice actor that plays Jeffy. He also plays other SML characters such as Goodman, Yaki Chu, Doggy, Brooking Guy, and many others. He has his own YouTube channel in which he uploads vlogs, reactions, Q&As, and behind the scenes videos. Jeffy is not for kids. This one should be obvious to anyone who actually watches SML videos, but Jeffy is a character that is not meant to be watched by kids. Even though a lot of people usually associate puppets with content made for kids, Jeffy is a character that regularly swears and does things that are not appropriate for kids to watch. Unfortunately, there are a lot of kids that still watch Jeffy videos while unsupervised. You can purchase Jeffy. SML offers a replica of the Jeffy puppet used in SML videos in their official store smlmerch.com. I have one myself and its quality is quite good. Here's Jeffy. This is a fan channel owned by a guy called Johnny Berry and his friend Chan. They make videos pretending to be Jeffy the Puppet and Marvin and other SML characters. Here's Jeffy is not actually related to the official SML channels in any way, but the channel became extremely popular through YouTube shorts in which they make Jeffy react to TikToks and through Jeffy gaming videos. Something funny is that the Jeffy from Here's Jeffy and the actual real Jeffy from SML met in one of SML's meet and greet events in New York City. Some SML fans hate Here's Jeffy, others like the channel, I personally just see it as another fan channel making SML related content just like me. And the Jeffy from his Jeffy has actually reacted to my quiz videos plenty of times, so that's something. Layer 2. Shallow Waters. We will now plunge into this layer of the iceberg which includes information that is well known to some extent, but some of the newer fans may not know it. Jeffy in Good Morning America. Good Morning America is a news program that I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. During a segment in Good Morning America which was broadcasted in May of 2018, the program began talking about how many little kids end up watching inappropriate content on the YouTube platform, and Jeffy and SMO were highlighted as an example of something that seems innocent and kid-friendly on the outside but is actually not meant for kids. 
As I said, a huge problem in the SML community is that many little kids end up watching Jeffy and SML content due to the way the characters look, even though the channel is clearly not meant to be watched by little kids. Jeffy's Law of Mathematics This is a joke that is used a lot in SML videos, especially old ones. It first appeared in the video Jeffy's Homework. When Jeffy was asked the result of 8 minus 4, he answered 8. Even though in the real world that makes absolutely no sense, the correct answer is 4. In the SML universe, it became an actual law of mathematics that is even thought at the schools by this point. So yeah, now you know. 8 minus 4 equals 8. Jeffy's clone. Of course, this refers to a Scooter. As many of you know, Scooter is a clone that was created using one of Cody's machines in the video Jeffy's clone uploaded during 2018 to the now deleted Super Mario Logan channel. Scooter eventually became a completely different character with his own unique personality, to the point that many fans don't even know that he began as a little old Jeffy clone. Jeffy's family. As you know, his current family includes his adopted parents Marvin and Rose, who used to be Mario and Rosalina, and his pet dinosaur Booger, and also his pet dog Poopybot, although he rarely appears in videos nowadays. But Jeffy's biological family includes his late mother Nancy, his father Jacques Pierre Francois, his late sister Phoebe, and his grandparents Papi and Martha. Jeffy's personality changed. Jeffy's personality has definitely changed a lot since he was first introduced to SML. At first, his personality was that of a stereotypical, stupid, and misbehaved character, and he only had a few repetitive jokes, such as banging his head on the nearest surface whenever someone called him a bad boy, or showing his pencil and shirt to people he had just met. He slowly began to evolve and mature as a character, and I think we can all agree on the fact that he is a more developed character, and within the story, he is no longer a kid. He's over 18 years old now. He still acts immature and childish, but he's no longer a character as simple as he used to be. Is Jeffy disabled? This is a constant debate in the SML community. Some people think that Jeffy started off as a mentally disabled stereotype character in his very first video appearance and in the first videos in which he appeared, and even though his personality has changed and is different to what it used to be, some people still argue that the way he behaves is similar to people with neurological disabilities. However, Logan has argued that Jeffy is simply meant to be a funny and silly character but not mentally or neurologically disabled. However, Jeffy being disabled or not is something that some fans discuss up to this day. Layer 3. Deep Waters We will now plunge into a layer of the iceberg which includes facts and information that I'm sure that unless you have been watching SML for at least a few years, you will most definitely not know. Jeffy was replaced. On the left, you can see Jeffy as he looked in the first few videos in which he appeared. On the right, you can see Jeffy as he looks in modern SML videos. Do you notice any differences? Even if you can't tell for sure, I'm pretty sure you think they are different somehow. And you will be right. The puppet used nowadays to play Jeffy in most SML videos is not the same as the one that was used in old SML videos. The original Jeffy puppet had thicker eyelashes. His eyebrow was lower on his forehead and was slightly crooked. A fun fact is that every Jeffy puppet is handmade, meaning that every Jeffy will look slightly different, which is why the Jeffy puppet that Here's Jeffy uses can be easily distinguished from the puppet that is used in SML videos, for example. Jeffy in Joe Mama Joe Mama is a YouTube channel featuring animation centered around Joe Mama jokes, such as Yo mama, so fat, she looks like a whale, you know, the kinds of jokes Junior uses to make fun of Cody's mom. This channel, Yo Mama, has actually made quite a few videos featuring Jeffy in its animations. Jeffy Times Shark Puppet Collab Some of you may know or may remember this channel called Shark Puppet, which features a shark kind puppet whose main personality traits are that he says yeah all the time and that he likes to eat cheese and to scream. Well, during 2019, there was a collab between Shark Puppet and SML which resulted in the popular video Jeffy's Pet Shark, which up to this date has amassed over 42 million views. Jeffy's other voice actors. As I mentioned, Lance 30 Acre is the guy that plays Jeffy in most SML videos. However, there have been videos in which Jeffy has been played by other actors. For instance, in case you didn't know, whenever Jeffy makes weird noises just as when he's imitating an animal or something, the actor that makes those sounds usually is Anthony Miller, not Lance. Poofy has played Jeffy in at least two occasions, in the video Jeffy's Brain and in the video Baby Jeffy. Even Chili and Tito Jimenez have played Jeffy at some point, although just in a single video. Jeffy in Smosh 
As much as a legendary comedy YouTube channel with over 25 million subscribers, at one point, it was the most popular channel on the entire platform. In the video Ever a Nick Show Ever, they used a Jeffy puppet to parody the character Robbie from Victorious, who always carries a puppet with him. In the video, they don't even refer to the puppet as Jeffy and they even tried to delete Jeffy's name from the shirt, but come on, we all know that's Jeffy. You can purchase the real Jeffy made by Valinka. As I mentioned, you can purchase a Jeffy replica in smlmerch.com, but as far as I know, the version you get is slightly smaller than the real Jeffy used in SML videos and, as you can see from the one I purchased, it looks very different. However, if you want a puppet that is more similar in size and design, and that is actually handmade by the exact same person or by the exact same team that developed the original puppet used in SML videos, Evelinka actually offers their own Jeffy puppet which you can purchase. It is way more expensive than the one you can buy on smlmerch.com though. Jeffy Gaming. As I said, one thing here's Jeffy is known for is for making videos in which their version of Jeffy the Puppet plays video games. But what if I told you that years before here's Jeffy even existed, there was another person doing exactly the same. The owner of Jeffy Gaming unlisted all of the videos after becoming tired of making videos pretending to be Jeffy, but back in the day, this channel was thriving with videos in which Jeffy played games such as Minecraft, Fortnite, and many other video games. This was actually one of the very first SML fan channels that got major success. I joined the platform during October of 2016, and I remember that by that time, Jeffy Gaming already had many thousands of subscribers and millions of views. It's said that the owner decided to stop making videos, but at least that inspired and paved the way for other SML fan channels such as Here's Jeffy or even myself, since I've actually made videos playing video games and pretending to be Jeffy myself. Layer 4, Dark Waters. In this layer I will cover some of the most controversial information regarding Jeffy and SML. Please raise yourself. Logan didn't like Jeffy. As mentioned at the beginning of the iceberg, Jeffy was supposed to be a one-time character but somehow found major success and Logan decided to use the character again in other videos. However, a major drawback was that now SML started having a huge fan base that only followed the channel for the Jeffy videos, to the point that videos featuring other characters underperformed in the YouTube algorithm or weren't as liked by newer SML fans. This also caused the original SML fans to stop liking the channel since they thought Jeffy was being overused for views. The channel also faced a bunch of other problems which will be covered later on, but this eventually caused Logan to stop liking Jeffy as a character and to want to get rid of it, but being unable to do so due to its popularity. By this point, it is unknown if he likes the character again, but he still uses Jeffy up to this day in his videos. Jeffy's tantrum controversy. I will only explain this one in broad terms since what happened was quite shocking to say the least. If you want to know everything in detail, research the topic yourself after you watch this video. Jeffy's Tantrum is a video which was uploaded in March of 2017 which features a scene in which Jeffy becomes extremely sad and then does something I won't tell you since YouTube nowadays is extremely sensitive with this kind of stuff. So yeah, might as well just not say it. The thing is that a few months later, a 7 year old attempted to do the exact same thing Jeffy does in the video. His mother saw him and a huge controversy unfolded which was even covered by some newspapers. A year later, Logan even made the video Jeffy plays Minecraft as a response to the criticism and as a way of saying that it's the parents' responsibility to control what their kids watch. Jeffy caused SML's demonetization. As I mentioned early on in the video, Jeffy is a character that is not meant to be watched by kids and that is true even nowadays, but to be honest, Old SML videos featuring Jeffy had even more swearing, blood, and chucking videos than modern SML videos. Sadly, during 2017 and 2018, this ended up causing most SML videos to be age-restricted and stop getting views, and eventually the entire channel was demonetized by YouTube. Even Logan himself said that he believes that if Jeffy had never been introduced to SML, it's extremely likely that the demonetization and age restriction problems wouldn't have happened. Jeffy the Rapper Controversy This controversy took place during 2018 in Garfield Elementary School. Basically, a bunch of second graders and third graders were caught imitating Jeffy and his rap song which is featured in the video Jeffy the Rapper. They were disciplined and this event was eventually covered by some newspapers as an example of content that looks for kids but is not meant for kids and warning the parents about Jeffy and yada 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 blah blah blah. Fan made Jeffy puppets that appeared in actual SML videos. Let's now go into something a little bit more lighthearted. 
There was a time in which if you sent Logan your own DIY version of Jeffy the Puppet as fan mail, there was a strong possibility that he will end up using it in a video. This is true for puppets such as the Jeffy using Sick Jeffy, Drawing Jeffy, Ghost Jeffy, and many other Jeffy puppets and DIY versions that were used in SML videos. Jeffy is the SML character with the most alternate versions. Baby Jeffy, Smart Jeffy, Taco Jeffy, Zombie Jeffy, Jeffy, Cop Jeffy, Sick Jeffy, President Jeffy, or Pirate Jeffy are just some examples of the dozens of Jeffy alternate versions that have appeared in SML videos by this point. Layer 5, The Abyss. This is information that almost no one knows about Jeffy. I'm sure even the most loyal Jeffy fans out there probably don't know about this. Jeffy's real first appearance. Remember how I said that Jeffy appeared for the first time in the video Mario the Babysitter? Well, I lied. During a video in which Logan was showing his puppet collection we watch uploaded a few days before the video of Mario the Babysitter, you can actually see what seems to be a Jeffy the Puppet before he even had the diaper, pencil, or helmet. YouTube channels inspired by Jeffy. There are many YouTubers and content creators that eventually moved away from SML but that began their channels and careers making Jeffy and SML related videos. The most notorious example is the YouTuber Gavin Magnus, who currently has 4.6 million subscribers and makes music and blogs, but who originally kickstarted his career with Jeffy parody videos. Sam the Puppet. This is a special version of Jeffy you can buy which has the main characteristic that it doesn't have the name Jeffy on his shirt, the pencil in his nose, or his iconic diaper outside of his pants. Foreign country channels massively re-uploading Jeffy videos for profit. I'm actually planning on making a video about this specific issue, but there are a lot of channels from other countries that originally made videos in languages that are not even English, but that once they get their channels monetized, they just start re-uploading old SML and Jeffy videos using clickbait and other tactics only to gain profit without putting much effort and they only keep the videos up for a few days so that they can avoid copyright and that is a huge problem in the SML community. Old SML fans don't like Jeffy. I kinda already explained this one in the previous layer but a lot of SML fans that watched the channel before Jeffy was introduced firmly believe that Jeffy essentially ruined the channel and they don't like the character, the way he looks or the jokes he makes. Jeffy has superpowers. This is something that hasn't been brought up in recent videos but there are some random videos in which Jeffy seems to have actual superpowers without any rational explanation, being able to do things such as bring drawings to life or do things that even the characters in the SML universe find unbelievable. Jeffy is extremely profitable for SML. Despite what I said about Logan essentially growing tired of Jeffy at some point, there's a simple reason he won't get rid of the character and he can't get rid of the character by this point. Jeffy is extremely profitable. SML has made an entire business out of selling Jeffy replicas and Jeffy merch by this point. And Logan is known to showcase a very luxurious life, product of the money he makes from his videos and most of that money definitely comes from videos in which Jeffy appears. Layer 6 the darkest stuff. This is the final layer of the iceberg. These are things only the truest SML fans know. Jeffy equals Tony the Tiger. Try to guess to which character I'm referring to in this question. The Mario from the SML universe has an adopted son who is immature, slightly dumb, and good natured. What's his name? The correct answer is Tony the Tiger! Wait, what? You thought I was going to say Jeffy? Well, that could also be the answer, but if we go by who appeared first in SML videos, then Tony the Tiger seems more like the right answer. So yeah, my point is that many older fans believe that Jeffy is essentially just a little replacement of the classic SML character Tony the Tiger, who hasn't appeared in like forever in SML videos. Jeffy's original design was different. Remember how I said that Jeffy is based on a design that Logan came up with during high school? Well, in the original design he made, the character had a red helmet, not a blue one. He didn't have a diaper outside of his pants, and he also didn't have the name Jeffy on his shirt or a pencil in his nose. Also, the character was originally supposed to be played by Poovy, not by Lance, but since Poovy already played Booking Guy and many other characters, it was Lance who ended up playing Jeffy. Some people believe Jeffy is a copy of another character. Throughout the years, there have been many accusations made against SML about Jeffy being a copy of a character coming from some other franchise. 
A notorious example is Crank Yunker's special ed, who definitely has a voice and behavior similar to that of Jeffy. However, to be honest, I don't think Jeffy is a copy of another character or anything like that, and even if one day the news broke that he was inspired by some other character, he's original enough as to not be considered a blatant copy, but that's my personal opinion. The real reason he hates green beans, we all know Jeffy hates green beans, that's like one of the most well-known things about Jeffy, but the thing that very few people know is the why. Why does he hate green beans? And the answer was given during one of the Q&A videos uploaded in the Lance 30 Acre YouTube channel, and it's actually quite simple, because they look like boogers. Jeffy is not dumb, but a genius theory. This is a theory that has been circulating for a few years in the SML community, and I actually made a video about it myself a few months ago, but essentially some fans believe that Jeffy's not dumb, but that he's just pretending to be stupid with some ulterior motive. The most faithful believers of this theory have even analyzed every single Jeffy video in search of clues of Jeffy being a genius in disguise. Jeffy creepypastas. Creepypastas are like horror stories which became popular in the early days of the internet. The interesting thing is that throughout the years there have been a few creepypastas about Jeffy, about things such as missing SML videos or Jeffy puppets becoming possessed or haunted or things of that nature. And that's it. That's the end of the iceberg. I have just explained the complete Jeffy iceberg in full detail and I hope that you now know things you didn't know about Jeffy prior to watching this video. It was extremely funny and interesting for me to make it. Please tell me if you like this video, if you want me to make more videos like this one, or if you have any other ideas for videos you want me to make. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this video and want to watch other videos I will make in the near future. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!